Welcome to a Mostly Fans special edition of Gil's Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoop, whoop! Whoop, whoop! We got Gilbert Arenas here. We got Lexi Brown here. We got Rashad McCann here. We asked y'all for questions for this special show, and you guys delivered. So we appreciate you. But before we get into all that, if you want to get your bread up, make sure you download the Underdog Fantasy app. Use promo code GIL that will match your first deposit up to $100. And as always, when you give us a good Mostly Fans question, you get a $50 bonus if you include your underdog username. And if you send us a video at mostlyfansgill at gmail.com and we use that question at some point on this show, you get a $100 bonus. So without further ado, we will get into this special Mostly Fans edition, all Mostly Fans questions. Oh, yeah, let me get the Mostly Fans voice ready to go. <laughs> you know what time it is. Say your mama, I'll call her back. <laughs> <laughs> so our first question is a video question from underdog user named Jerron84. Gil's Arena, what's up, everybody? Uh, first question, what were your guys' worst Thanksgiving moments as a player? College, pro, whatever. Second question, has SGA become what we all thought Luka was going to become? And has, should he at least be included in some of those MVP conversations? Can't wait to hear what you guys got to say later. Oh, Josiah, bear down. Negro, you did not go to the <laughs> University of Arizona. I'm sure he did. He probably from Tucson. T Loke, as they call them out there. T Locals. T Locals. <laughs> Tucson Locals. He want to throw that in there. Bear huh? down. Okay. Gil, start with you. Worst Thanksgiving moments as a player at any level? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> All of them because you're never home. Right? You know, think about the 23rd. We, we looked at the schedule. You know, there's teams that's on the road, so they're not going to have Thanksgiving with their family. They're going to have it in the hotel room, right? So, you know, most of your Thanksgiving as an NBA player, you're not actually home with your family. You're sitting there on the road most of the time, so they were all horrible. Lexi, from your college days, obviously the WNBA schedule yes, really sometimes. geared. But overseas, you'd you be overseas for Thanksgiving sometimes? Oh, yeah. Probably my first season overseas. Where were you at? Hungry. You was hungry? And I was hungry. And <laughs> hungry? Okay, I was yeah. hungry and hungry. I know, I don't really be cooking, so. <laughs> what did you have for that Thanksgiving and hungry? I don't even think I had anything. I was just mm. watching everybody's stories, just seeing plates you all story? day. <laughs> mm, that was good. <laughs> yeah. That, was I home for that? I can't remember. But I will say also, one time in college, um, my second season at Maryland, actually, no one knows the story. This is a new story. Uh oh. This was when I knew I wanted to transfer. I knew very early in the season, and we had a trip to Puerto Rico, and I did not show up to the team bus to go to the airport, because I didn't want to go, because I wanted to leave, but my parents made me go on the trip. So I ended up going on the trip. We Later, you flew your own flight? No, I ended up meeting them at the uh, airport, okay. but I wasn't on the team bus, and then I was just like kind of miserable. During that trip, I think we lost a game to a team that we weren't supposed to lose to, but then finished the season and ended up leaving after mm. that. Mm. But yeah, that was the beginning of the end. <laughs> yeah. I gotta say, uh, in the league, since we was never really going to the crib, I think the best Thanksgiving is always when white people ask you to to come over to their house when you ain't got nowhere to go. Green Peak Casserole? They'd be like, yeah, you ain't got Thanksgiving at your house? Come on over here with us. And they get there, man, and you know, they don't put no season on their food. You know what I'm saying? And you, you be hungry, but you don't, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, when you talk about Minnesota, it's cold, one. But then when you hungry, you can't go home, and, uh -huh. and the cornbread ain't the cornbread. <laughs> it's different. Four kernels in the cornbread. <laughs> yeah, it's different. Oh, it's a giveaway. <laughs> the egg yeah. salad, you know what I'm saying? And it's different. So for me in Minnesota, like not going to the crib for like four years straight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got you. It gets you kind of addicted to, you know, like. Uh, biscuits and gravy and shit like that. <laughs> So let, let's ask the second part of that question. So I really want to see how y'all respond to this one. Is SGA becoming what we all thought Luca would become, and should he be in the MVP combo? 
Uh, what is that? Because I'm not sure what he's asking, though. It's Luca is playing, playing exactly. Luca is killing right now. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you mean by that? Is is he a premier player in the league now? Is SGA? Oh, for I mean, sure. No, first no, team All NBA is, last year, right? Yeah, yeah he was first team All NBA last year. So, which was Luca too, right? But we're not talking. About, I think what he's referencing is like we don't talk about SGA like we talk about Luca. That's fair. But we we mention Luca in a higher standard than we do him, because he kind of just got there. Yeah. Like last year. Thunder also have not made the playoffs, if I'm not mistaken. So, Yeah, but SGA, I mean, SGA is doing very well. So I think this would be the year. The Thunder will get to the playoffs, potentially win a playoff series. So from that standpoint, yes, but from an individual standpoint, they were both first-team All-NBA last year. What I seen them do to Steph. It was unfortunate. Last night. <laughs> and then it was... Yeah, that it was, it was, he's putting He's putting the, the league on notice that I don't give a fuck about none of y'all in my way. And I'm gonna do it in some skims. That's, mm -hmm. that's <laughs> but you can't get. I'm gonna do it in some fucking skims. I'm gonna skim y'all motherfuckers with some skims. You feel me? Getting cooked by a Canadian wearing skims. Huh? Damn, Steph. Mm. He Damn. fucked with one of them Kardashians. He just ain't gonna. He ain't put it out yet. No, he, he's not. He with the skims. He's skimming mm -hmm. from the top. He's skimming from the top. That's a Kardashian curse is real. He's, he's skimming not, from the top. He's not doing that. One of them <laughs> Jenners. One of them Kardashian genders. Kardashian curse is real. Shut All right. So next up, we've got a, a chat question. <laughs> you know. I do know. You know. <laughs> Leave it alone, Joe. Just go ahead. Just go ahead with the shit, Joe. <laughs> All right. Okay. Very fine family, okay? Very fine. Very, very nice people. Shout out Chris Jenner. Yes. Shout out Kaylee Jenner, the rest of the crew. So we got a question from the chat. This is from Don Mac 217 mm. Who was the best? and worst guests at the family dinner on Thanksgiving. <laughs> While y'all are thinking, I'll kick this off. Uh, we used to do family dinners, and they'd say some shit like, oh, it starts at 3. And you show up at 3, no food. Mm. 4, no food. No. Around about 7.30, food finally prepared. <laughs> so I'm not going to name that part of the family, but they wouldn't get there till about 6.45. Still need to heat their, their portion of the meal up, but always a good... Always a good time, but now I just cook my own meal, so I can. The best. I need my shit done at a certain time, so. I, I, I think I'm probably the worst guest, cause. I would uh, say, cause I just show up. Yeah, like I, I'm show up when I want to show up. Like I don't care about like. The, I'm not putting uh, clothes on. I'm putting on my sweatpants. Not sitting at your table. Not sitting at your <laughs> table. <laughs> you're, not, you're not sitting with the. the you're I'm assigned on the couch watching you know? TV. I'm not saying hello to nobody. I'm going to sleep right after the meal. <laughs> right after speaking, I eat, I'm, I'm going to sleep. I'm not speaking to nobody. I'm, I'm good for that one. <laughs> oh, man, I did. I hosted I hosted uh, Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union for Thanksgiving. And had the whole, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, everyone was here. And I took my plate, went in my room, watched TV. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of host Hell yeah. You? I told him, I don't know how to host, so y'all on your own. I don't know none of y'all down there. Who is them? Who is them? Thank you for the food. There's like 47 people in here. And you just left? I, I, I do what I'm doing normal. I take my goddamn plate. I go upstairs watch me some TV. I'm holler. I'm holler at y'all. So, <laughs> like, why you gonna be so, you gonna be, you know. I forgot I did that. You don't be all personable with the people. Shit. They came yeah, you gotta write a memoir. Because the shit yeah. you be just be forgetting. Shit. And just casually <laughs> drop it on the show. Shit. I'm upstairs. Because I knew about the Thanksgiving dinner with the way but I didn't know you just took the plate and dipped it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just used to what I did. Like, I had a host of y'all have fun and y'all enjoy. Good? You good? Yeah, like Thanksgiving? <laughs> you good? Y'all good down there? Alexi, the nap, like the nap, wake up oh, an hour yeah. later, I'm, second. I'm, I'm going to my room, too, closing <laughs> the door. I'll see y'all in a few hours. You know, you may go yeah. on the walk with your cousins, you know, and do whatever you like to do in those situations. <laughs> Very important. Thank God that those things are legal now in the state of California, so there's no stigma <laughs> around it anymore. All right, our next question, video question, friend of the program, we, we, we use this stuff a lot, BMAC32. You know, how often does the NBA's Hall of Fame committee get it wrong as far as not allowing guys in? And who are some former players do you feel like should be already in the Hall of Fame but are not? And who are some of them old Hall of Famers that you would take out? Gil, I know you got a lot because you hate everybody that from the 80s been known, so... He could have turned his TV down. Facts. <laughs> hmm. Do you have you have to be out of the league a certain amount of years? To, five years. Five years. Five years. To be out, like, four. 
Four years. Like my, my thing is always this. Um, if your accolades wasn't good enough when you first went out Tired. and your what time is up, what Body makes up it? Weight. Yeah, what makes it good enough? Twenty something, thirty something years in, were you waiting for some weaker group? Like your 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 accolades shouldn't be compared to who's coming in with you. Like it's like, oh, this group we got, you know, this person, this person, this person, this person. So you can't make it with them. Why the fuck I can't not make it? Like, why are we waiting for some weaker group? for you to put my name in. That's not how it should work. It's like, you know, if my name is Hall of Fame ready, it should be, you know, unfortunately it goes in with the group that I'm going in with. It doesn't, you can't wait 20 years from now and like, okay, this is the group you can go in with because they got weaker stats. Like, mm. What is the Hall of Fame though? What about, you know, by definition, the Hall of Fame, is it famous names? Is it famous resumes, famous, you know, like what? What is it? It is feels it, a lot like that. Because, because if it is that, you look at how he's asking to take out certain names that we probably might not recognize, like the most famous names, the most notable players that come through the NBA that we know and we recognize. That's what I'm thinking about, like Hall of Fame. Yeah. Like, who are the people that we can't gloss over? You like a Stephon Marbury. Like, okay, why is he not a Hall of Famer? Gilbert Arenas, like a name that's put into the culture and cement it? How could, like what credentials do you need outside of the popularity that you were a famous NBA player that did what he's supposed to do? It's, it's, there's not really a criteria, even somebody like yourself, I know you may not feel like you're a Hall of Famer, but what you did by age 25 compared to a lot of players, injuries come into it. So really from just a standpoint of how good of a basketball player you were, is it stats, is it longevity? Is it popularity? Because a lot of guys in small markets won't really ever get the love they deserve. And as we talked about on the show, you may be playing for a shitty ass franchise that, that did nothing to help make you a better player, or you may be blessed to come to a franchise that actually prioritizes winning. And now you've got rings associated with your name, which seems to be one of the main parts of the criteria that pushes you over the top. Think about a guy like Manu Ginobili, great player, but you know, primarily as a sixth man, does he deserve to get in over other guys? He's just one example, but. Is he in? Yeah, he is chilling. And he does a bunch of stuff overseas, so it's your collective yeah, basketball resume. I put him over uh, Lou Will and Jamal Crawford, or just Jamal Crawford. Period. Like comparing them to, and the only thing that differentiates them is championships. Yeah, which your Hall of uh, uh, when you you it's I just hate things that you say it's an individual war, but then you use team success as a stepping stone. If you are a six man, you are a six man. So the fact that there's six men, like Hall of Fame, like when you're talking about Hall of Fame itself, like you're talking about the elite of the elite, right? It's, it's supposed to be like this, this thing that, like there's Michael Jordan's in there, right? Like Kobe's in there, like the elite throughout history. And then you got guys in there that you say they were six men. That's not elite. Right, right. That's not a fucking elite player. That's why I said, unless you're going to change the, the jacket and the coding, like, there's the... This code. The Hall of Fame code. gold. The yeah. Hall of Fame silver and the Hall of Fame bronze, right? Treat it like it, an AAU program. Yeah, right? treat it like, like... So we know when we look back in history and we look at these names and 30, 40 years from now, when people look at the names... They know who were gold standard players. They know who were silver players, who was bronze. Like, you got in here because of longevity, right? You played 20 years. You fucking averaged 15 your whole career, which made you get the 20-something thousand points. Yep. You won two championships, being, you know, uh, 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 one of the players on a team. You averaged 12 points the whole time. And your whole collective career, you became a Hall of Famer. You shouldn't have the same fucking... <laughs> you're not in the same room as... Magic, Michael, and Bird. Right. Right, and, and I, don't, I don't like that standpoint of it. Because that goes into the influence and the yeah, culture like, and what you've done for basketball. Is Al, was Al, is Al Iverson a Hall of Famer? Yeah. He is. Yeah. Like he's a, well, that's gold standard. Right. Right? You know, that's gold standard. You know, you're talking about, um, let's say Gasol, silver standard. Ginobili, bronze. Yeah, I mean. Bronze. Tracy. Gold. 
It had nothing to do with championship. It has nothing to do with championship. It's you. Who, who were you when you played? Were you feared? Yep. Were you a game changer? Like, that's... Mean something. You know what I mean? It's, it's... They should yeah. really poll, like, the current guys. Obviously, still living guys who are in the Hall of Fame be like, all right, here's a player name. Does he belong here with y'all? <laughs> yeah. The, I'm just saying, and if, the, if the majority don't be like, yeah. You take Michael, Michael Magic Bird... Um, like the Shaquille O'Neal, those pinnacle guys, and say, all right, can you categorize where they fall in the Hall of Fame list? Mm -hmm. So the old guys, do you take them off or do you demote them down <laughs> levels? Do you, no, like so. Because like Bob, Bob Cousy. He was he, but Bob Cousy, for his generation, he was a gold standard. There you go. So we talking about for their eras, mm -hmm. they should still yeah, like have for, gold, yeah, yeah, gold for your, standard. Yeah, for, for your, your era, era you're still, gold standard is still gold standard. Right. Right, you don't change the standard. Like it's he was gold standard for his his love. Even though in today's he might not even be, but for but you got to keep because he's he's cementing in gold, 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 gold. So, so you're not taking nothing from the '80s players that are gold standard. No, uh, not the gold. Like like you know, Magic Bird, Isaiah, Isaiah Thomas. Those Dominique. are all gold. Imagine, Dominique. Imagine the Hall of Fame Clyde. calling dudes and be like, you don't fuck with Dominique. No, 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 Clyde. Gold, <laughs> you don't like, fuck with Dominique. Like, like, it's just gold, but then you got some people who would be like, hmm. Like, hey, we. Who would be there? We actually separated. made a mistake, sir. Uh, <laughs> Return your jacket, please. It was we'll a rough you year for us. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. we, got, we, we, we were just throwing off. people in there just to get the to get, get the shit started. <laughs> we were just trying to sell some tickets to the event. Uh, hey, Lexi, what you think on this whole situation? I mean, I agree. I think there should be like tears like a tiered level of Hall of Fame. Like, again, you have like a Kobe. I mean, I don't really pay that close attention to Hall of Fame, obviously. Um, and then even for the Women's Hall of Fame, like, they don't have that many females in like the Basketball Hall of Fame. And a lot of them get their Hall of Fame status when they like are coaches mm -hmm. or something like that. And then that cements them, like Becky Hammond, for example. Yeah. Like, I think she should have already been in the Hall of Fame even before she was a coach, but she had to also not even coach, be a elite coach, a really good coach, win mm -hmm. championships, yep. coach in the NBA. So I think that even for women, there should be like more of like your influence on the game, just the game itself. Because I think for women, it's like more. Is Lisa, you have to do more. Is Lisa Leslie a Hall of Famer? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I would say, I mean, you I mean, think I would so. Hope so. You got to treat it like it. the club, right? Everybody not getting the table. Yeah. Any, yeah. So Anybody we are a general admission. Yeah, that's right. You get into the club, then you got the regular, then you got the VIP, and then you got the motherfuckers who. who <laughs> oh, that's where, they are. That's where, the, where the bottle's going. Yeah. Where the bottle's <laughs> is going. That dude right there, you can't buy your way into this shit. Mm -mm. Right? You know, you don't need a special wristband, goddamn it, because those people over there is invited. Mm 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 mm. They're part of the club owners. Yeah, they, 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 <laughs> that's 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 Fifty Cent over there. Yeah. <laughs> like he was he was here. He had the him and his whole entourage. You get but, money for that? Who for Hall of Fame? Or you just no. Nah. I think you actually you can get money off of endorsements. Other endorsement. things you get cracking, but you actually lose bread because you've got to buy tickets to the ceremony. It's like a country club. That's what everything always it's like comes a country club. Yeah, you get in, but you got to pay. Mem gold members don't got to pay for shit. This is all I'm saying. Gold members don't got to pay for shit. <laughs> the other ones got to pay to get... Silvers and bronze. You're getting flown in. Just like AAU like basketball. Yeah. Yeah. The kids no, who aren't as good sense. cover the cost for the kids who are as good. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all remember AAU back in the day. Like, what are you like, doing on... Oh, he paid for the jerseys. I think about it like somebody like, you know, it's not to take away from like, you know, Ginobili, but you wasn't a top... You wasn't a top 50 player in the NBA during your time. Your your team cements you, right? But as a player, as an individual, there was you was not a dominant player. You was a third option. It wasn't no it was better than Jason. Guaranteed. It wasn't no better than Jason Terry than me. That's what I'm saying. You're, 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 third, you're, third, you're a third team. If we say, all right, if we take the championships away from Tim Duncan, he's a Hall of Famer. Yep. Gold standard still, right? Him as a player, gold standard. We take your five rings away, no one even knows who you are. That's, that's what a, that determines if you're good enough to be the Hall of Fame. If I take away team your team stuff. shit, are you good enough to stand on your own? And I get what, that goes full circle, getting what you've been meaning this whole, like last season and even going into this season about the difference between team success and individual success. It narrows it all down to that. Mm -hmm. Like, when you take away the championships, can you stand mm -hmm. on your own? Mm -hmm. can, I, can I recognize you as a player 
and be like, oh, yo, you was cold. Yeah. Yep. You was cold. It had nothing to do with knowing how many you won or winning, winning that one, but take that shit away. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, you, you was cold. <laughs> <laughs> you were cold That's you wasn't. Said, you give Marbury one championship, first ballot. Man. Wow. For what? Damn. <laughs> like Ginobili wasn't more dangerous than, you know what I mean? That, but that's, you know, that's the political part of it. Yeah. So let's keep this thing moving. Uh, next question, the video question from underdog user D800K. If you was running an expansion team and you was the GM and you had to build your team with players that have never won a championship, i.e. AI, T-Mac, Sean Kemp, Rain Man, who would you start your team with and why? Who would I? Ooh, so no ring starting my championship. And we'll say in their primes. In their primes? Just one player. One player. But why would I want to start a team with a player? Mm. No player <laughs> starting my championship <laughs> team with would be... Damn. I'm gonna go T Mac. I'm gonna go Patrick Ewan. Wow. Carmelo didn't it's win. Life. Carmelo doesn't win, right? right? Mm-hmm. I might I might go Carmelo Anthony. Girl, you said Patrick Ewing. He didn't win a ring, right? But I'm just asking. I, 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 yeah, we, we know your 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 endless disrespect for the eighties, but try to figure He's out. He's 90s. <laughs> are you, you gonna explain your pick or are you gonna pick in 85? Yeah, yeah, number one pick in 85. Yeah, yeah, But, you know, he, by the time he got his shit going, he's in the 90s. Um, dominant, you practice that shot, Gil? No. Dominant, dominant, you know, I'm like starting, the, starting my team with a big man who knows how to play defense, who can score, he can get his own bucket, you know, who has, you know, that, that, that defensive energy that, that I want to start my team with that. I can build, I can build around that. And I will give you Patrick Ewing 90s. He didn't really start cooking till the 90s. So. Yeah, I know, okay. Hey, man, okay. I, I know what I'm doing Okay. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I, go with, I go with the big first. I go with the like big. you said, Melo? Yeah. Maybe giving him a new team would make him maybe want to win some championships. <laughs> <laughs> he knows it's all about him. We're doing this for you. New city, new team. Yeah, prime Melo for sure. Yeah. yeah. T-Mac. T-Mac-a. T-Mac. T-Mac is Kobe without rings. T-Mac. That's who T-Mac is. 6'9", Kobe without rings. Yeah. That's a good pick. Oh, I fucked up. It's not D-800K. It's supposed to be D-Book, but the 8's supposed to be a B. Okay. That's what they're telling me. <laughs> okay. Mm. It's an 8. It's Try not again. A B. Try again, motherfucker. Try again. It's, but it's not. It's D-800K. I'm talking about the user. He need to try again. <laughs> what are we doing? And Ewing did get a game seven of the finals in 94. Back when... That was OJ with Terra. Yeah, that was that's OJ year. Yeah, OJ had the game fucked up, bro. We was <laughs> we was locked in. I don't know if they had that everywhere in the world, but we was watching that shit every single day. He was driving that motherfucker fast, wasn't he? <laughs> AC, <the fuck? laughs> he was driving that bitch fast, boy. Everybody get you a friend like Al Cowley. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> we out. We out. Uh, we we rolling. <laughs> all right. Next question is a chat question. It's from Underdog user Freedom Writer. If you can have any broadcaster, play-by-play announcer call your game, who would it be? Chick Hearns, the legend. Marv Albert. Marv? Marv? Yeah, he was, he was doing some things Damn. back in the day. Four two. I was getting it. Marv said he fucking was skilled. He was fucking with skills before skills was Who was the one who said that uh, <laughs> the Jays was smoking on the Philly pack? Was that what he said? Oh, is that Mark Jones? Mark Jones. I want him to do a W game. <laughs> Mark Jones he's is a legend. He's funny. He makes me laugh. Yeah, I would love for him to do a W he, game. He's, he's so professional when he say it, but then he'll hit you with some real <laughs> Something shit. Something like crazy. Gus like, Johnson pretty good, too. And Gus goes hard. Little, little light-skinned nigga with the glasses. You ain't even like, <laughs> you got that voice on you for, boy. What you doing? I think my favorite with the, uh, I think he was talking about Chris Johnson info. He said he got getting away from the cops bid. And it's true, man. Ran like a 4 2. <laughs> they be saying some crazy <laughs> shit on these broadcasts they now. Do. It's so funny. Yeah. All right. Our next question is a video question from underdog user I am Satoshi. I am. I am a fan of the in season tournament, 
but what are your thoughts on potentially using the in-season tournament to globalize the game and using some of the other teams from across the world to play in the in-season tournament mm. but maybe adding one team per group or maybe adding one group of all the international teams and then the winner of that group goes to the next round mm. i think that would help globalize the game even more and get more people excited what are your thoughts that would be tough that's like when McDonald's used to do those world championships back in the, the 90s, right? Take the Spurs, Euroleague Bulls dudes, mm-hmm. but keep them up. I mean, that could get pricey bringing them over. Not no, it's just matters. bringing a team. Just bring... Well, the best Euroleague. Yeah, instead of putting and one just, in each NBA yeah. group, you have them play each other, and then they come. And if they happen yeah. to make it past they wherever they need... They by 100. <laughs> Globalize the game, Phil. Yeah, I get it, but... It's a great idea. Imagine they didn't, if they didn't, though. Because they didn't lose by they didn't lose by hundred when they came here this year. So in preseason, some they won. Did, they some won did, by, some did. Preseason, they won by like four. Preseason doesn't count. Every game counts. No, it doesn't. One is in full. One is in been been training for a whole two months. They're in shape. One is just starting training camp. When you smell that's why they do it. Well, that's why now, they you have say, to hey, Joe Sai, when the popcorn's popping, now you say in- there ain't no such thing as it don't so count. So re- you redo the groups. And, the, the, and none, none of the star players even actually play against those teams. You redo the groups so it's one less group for the quarterfinals yes. and put that the EuroLeague team. Yes. No, what what I'm saying spot. is people don't realize the Euro team, there's no pro over there. They already, the, whatever pro would have been on a team is in the NBA right now. So think about the Euro thing will start right now. Which which pro or pro-like player will be over there? They will be here in the G League. Yeah, so them come play their one game. Yeah, and win, win and win or lose and Just go back. They get, they get, and then they get that They're money. better off playing against the G League team. So they, they let's won. make it more competitive. What if we have that international champion team play against the worst team in the league? They might as well play the G League. <laughs> because the, the, what I'm saying is, Whoever is on a, U, uh, a Euro team right now, they wasn't good enough to be in the NBA today. Right. That's not or the true, Gil, Why do you keep saying that? That's it not is. But I feel true. Like, but it's not even All, about... But what if they do true. come over and win a game or two? Like, With who? Have you seen... Have you seen so Jabari Parker's not good enough to play in the NBA, bro. Why is he not? I'm asking you. No. I'm, I'm, I don't, don't want to no. say... Well, no, why? he's not. So right he's now. not good enough. Not right Kimba, now. Kimba Walker's not good enough to play in the NBA. He is. He is? Now you're talking about ex-NBA players, not even Euro players. But won't you just say this? But they're all playing ex- in Europe. Won't you just say all, ex- all ex-players that used to play in the NBA, y'all get put on one team and then go against... But wait, wait, wait. Where, 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 are, the, where are the ex-NBA players in supposed Euro to play? League. Where are they supposed to play? You're, where are they Euro supposed to play? right now. What if they're not playing in Euro, you're pushing Euro, you're pushing the Euro game, but you're using the USA basketball players. Bro, where are they supposed so to play? So washed up NBA players are the think about what you're saying. Are the the washed up European or uh, NBA players are the by far the best players when they go overseas. The guys who can't make it here anymore, washed, they're old, 36, 37, 38, are going over there and they're the best player in the country. I'm not saying that at all because I'm not going to say that. So you I'm don't think gonna, it would be good I, I follow at all I, I, I was play. washed up, knees hurting bad. Then I'm averaging 30 in China. I got... <laughs> okay, but to his point, he was asking about as far as making the game more global, which I think it's super global now. You don't think that that would just be something fun for them to do? Yes, it would be because they already came they're in the preseason. They're not going to win. We know they're not going to win. preseason, they came here and won. It's preseason, preseason they came here and won. But they're, they're going to have to play these in-season tournaments. They're, is playing, gonna be yeah, they're going to be playing the NBA like when they tradition. played the Phoenix Suns. They're not playing Booker and Kevin Durant. They're not playing those guys. They're playing the guys that we're seeing play like shit right now. Now, now, now. We're seeing the first 10 games, us saying we need to give them another 10 more games to get their shit together and bop, bop, bop. Man, one of them Euro teams come in here and give them the run for that. They're not playing against Kevin. When they played, when they played them, they, when the, the 36ers, that was their name? Adelaide 36 They did not play against Kevin Durant and Booker and them. They didn't play against them. We know. So it's like so them winning that game. Won't they do this if they want to? If they want to like open up the Euro, send the G League over there. Send the G League over there and have the G League go when they start a tournament with the the players that are two way players playing in the NBA and see how they fare up against them. That's not a good spark for entertainment. 
I'm sorry. I mean, yeah. if you want to be I'm sorry, if you want the They're game to be wanna, competitive, we want to see what we want to see. They're we want to see. Enough. I'm sorry. If, if he says as a fan, it's look, smart I would love to see that. It's not good enough. I would I'm love sorry. to see that. We don't, don't know if that person exists. Who is or not. that? No, I'm person? just talking about you got a guy who played at Rucker. I'm talking about you got a guy who played at Rucker for four years, averaged two for his whole career, and then he goes overseas and he's the the, the, the Michael Jordan over there. Like, come on, man. Real Madrid that- came in here and beat the Mavs. Oh, is that when Luca and and Luca played? And Kyrie did Luca Kyrie play? Luca played. Barely. Seven, seven minutes. Luca played. Luca played. No, no, I don't want to say you can't. I'm, I'm just, I mean, I'm just throwing hypotheticals that, out here. I, 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 if I'm on Real Madrid and I tell that story, I am saying Luca played. Play. And, and we played over here. We went over here and beat their ass. Do you want to see what the the best Euro team, the best Euro team, look like? Against the NBA? No, no, just period. Just look at the roster. <laughs> no, I don't. Don't do that. I don't. Their, their, don't buy into their that. Best player was a He's four, reaching. Their best player was the 14th dude in the NBA who's 38 years old. He's the best player over there. He's reaching. No, it's not true. That, and he hasn't done his research for that. No. He just looked Either on way, the internet. As far yeah, as he as just looked on the internet and looked at I like the stuff. idea. Is it going to happen? Probably not. I don't want nobody to catch a strays, Gil. They're just minding their business. Switch culture. I do like over that. You hit up Switch cultures and he'll tell you who's go, good uh, overseas or not. Barcelona, Barcelona Euro with championships last year, 2023. Uh, I've already done it. Let's, Trust me. <laughs> I, I even talked to dudes who was in Barcelona. They like, bro, y'all beat the shit out of us. I love that Gil, whenever at, there's a topic or something, he will literally call people. He'll call just be like, Kappa Kappa he will reach call. out, he will reach, he will reach out to reach out and call and say, what? Kappa Don, and them players will cap for him just because they calling. Like, I got Gil on the phone, he asked me some shit that I had to agree with. I had players that I, I called their names. He asked me some shit, he asked me some shit I just had to agree with and I just couldn't help it. But he, yeah, I didn't want to tell him that he was wrong. I got Gilbert Arenas on the phone. Last question. So we'll get into one last... USA, right? This USA was the best. We had players who are not even great players over here. Go to the country, China, Japan. And be the best. And we were the best players. That, that lets you know what the talent looked. They were the best players in the country. No, I understand that. I've been over there to play. Jo- Jordan, was it Jordan Clarkson? I was like, ah, ah, ah. Let me see. Pass the ball. Ah, ah. Uh-huh. We, we see, we see, who won the championship? I mean, shit, I played who zero who minutes won, who won, who won, who won, who won, who won the um, World Cup? Was it? World, who won World Cup? I stopped watching after we were eliminated. No, no, who won World Cup? Germany. Germany? Hey. Yeah, who's the best player on that team? He's Kevin. Schroeder. Schroeder. How, 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 how's Schroeder doing right now? He's doing okay. He's trying. Okay. <laughs> He's doing okay. He's doing all right. Yeah, okay. okay. All right, la- last, last mostly fans <laughs> okay. question. This was as spirited as I hoped it would be. We got a video question from underdog user Ray.22. So Jordan revolutionized the game in his time. AI revolutionized the culture in the game in his time. And Steph and the Warriors revolutionized the way the game is played today. So who do you think is going to be the next person? Are they in the league today? And in which way do y'all think they're going to revolutionize the game? Ooh. That's a good one. They're gonna be an elite thing. TikToker. <laughs> mm. So, who do you think will be the next player to revolutionize the game, and how will they revolutionize it? I mean, I think now with the KD, Chet, Wemby, we're gonna just see more bigger players playing at the guard position. I feel like that's one of the directions I see the game going. Is Wemby that player? It's looking like it. And Chet, I mean, Chet's been playing better too, but mm. these kids, everyone's just getting bigger. They're getting bigger, longer. I don't think there's too much more you can add to the game. I don't think there's too much more we can, like, not have seen. Yeah. As far as elements of the game and how many different facets that we've seen and where it could go. It's like, we've seen the big, strong, fast. We've seen the LeBrons. We've seen the Derrick Roses, the Ja Morants. We've seen the Kobe's. Seen the T-Max, seen the Kevin Durant's, seen the Wimby's, seen the Shaq's. Um, we, we didn't necessarily see the Will Chamberlain's, but he exists. Bill Russell exists. That was in the talent. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Allen Iverson's, the Kyrie Irvin's. Like, we've so. seen, no, we've we, seen the evolutions there's of... There's more. There's more coming. What is But what's the evolution past that? Your son? Uh, Kevin Durant, 
with Ja jumping ability. X, okay. <laughs> <A> do it. <laughs> and that has nothing to do with hey, basketball. Hey, That's hey. just going to be the right two people making a child. That's going to be a well, We're we over here like this. What kind of girl can I date to get one, to get <laughs> one of them? One think about, now, now, think about it. Think, to revolutionize, no, though. No, think about someone who is Kevin Durant, but with the like with the forty something. Like imagine like the 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 White Howards or the like the, James White. So basically like the White James. Howard with, with Kevin with, Durant skill yeah, set. Like the White Howard with Kevin Durant skill set. Disgusting. Those type of, huh? That's disgusting. But that's like me saying freak. But a, with with Wimby shit. But freak ain't. But freak. He's not that that athletic like that. He's long and like he's agile. But we're talking about someone who has. Does it like feel, rockets. Does it feel like Wimby, he would have maybe need that athleticism of being 7'4"? Like Braun, five more inches. Does it feel like mm. Wimby could be that player? He don't have athleticism yeah. like that. But I don't think like nobody, I don't, think, I, yeah, don't I don't think see no revolution. No, whatever, I don't see nobody no, now. Whatever it is, it. it's, it's young right now, and I don't know if they know what it is yet. <laughs> right? You, you're talking about someone where if you're a parent and you know what you two, I mean, it's like, if you're six four and your 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 girl is six one to six three, you know your child's gonna be about six 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 to six seven. I mean six seven to seven foot, right? So therefore, you need to be training them early on ball handling, knowing that your your attributes will be put into this child. Like Wimby's parents is six three and six five. I think his mother's like six three, right? Like he has a like so. You know, like if you're two parents that are tall, you know what your kid could be. So you got to get him into him early because by the time he gets 10, 12, 14, and now he's in AAU playing big. Six and six three. That's yeah, wild. Six and six three. So, you know what I mean? So, and that's what they so I'm not adding up. I'm just going to say that. No, I'm just kidding. Like, so, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, that's going to be It's just breathing. It's like, it's like hollering at a girl, hey, shorty, look, I just want you for, you know, our, our child to be here. A generational player. So what's up? Women do that to men. You got to <laughs> be six feet or that's taller. A hell of a, that's a hell and of a lie. And y'all do the opposite. Y'all go date five one and five two women. Yeah. Y'all don't want y'all don't want generational talented kids. Mm -hmm. Hey, I told my, we just I told my work. kids we just no, want to work. no. Work. I told my kids no short women. Every woman has to be over six foot, five eleven up. That's fair. Uh, because this next, this next generation is going to get skipped because these guys are with short women, and then maybe the next generation mm. after that, they'll smarten up so they can make... Everybody only dates like what the poor women. <laughs> what, are short, what are short women? What are? Uh, five, if they were low, like 5'7"? Five, five, seven? Seven? Under 5'5", five, five, I would say. Five, under 5'6", five, like, yeah, five, 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 six, yeah. If we're talking about making super a human? generational superhuman athletic kid... If you're trying to just make a normal athletic kid, <laughs> five five is cool. I never six, did normal. Ten. So they got a pair of like Wimby and Brittany Griner or something, and then Brittany give you like yeah, an eight, eight foot know. five kid with jump. Or no 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 no, you need but like, I, oh, damn, Candace Parker don't. They don't have a son, huh? Got no, a daughter. That was a daughter. a daughter. Yeah. She's tall. She plays yeah, volleyball. Yeah. See, that was that was the one that like you you have. You have she's athletic as herself because she can jump. So her, she has you know type two fibers. Plus him. Now that would have been a son that would have been probably generational. Yeah. And we can do this all day, but we want to thank y'all for pulling up to our Thanksgiving mostly fan special. Yep. So for Gil, Lexi, and Rashad, this is Gil's Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like and subscribe. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. It's good.